scandal of three decades ago. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hirsch joins us now with more on a very sad story which started a long time ago. Jeff? It did. The priests Thomas Kuhn, Thomas Feldhaus, and Ronald Cooper served in about 20 southwest Ohio parishes, schools, and hospitals from the late 60s through the early 2000s. They were ultimately, according to the archdiocese, clerics credibly accused of child abuse. Technically, the decision from the Vatican is called dismissal from the clerical state. Defrock is actually a lay term, but the meaning is the same. The picture I'm wearing this afternoon is a picture of myself when I was 17 years old and a senior at Elder High School. Dan Frondorf met reporters in front of St. Peter in Chains Cathedral. His choice of location, no accident. Frondorf is a member of a group called SNAP, Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests. Frondorf says he was abused by a different elder high school priest who was defrocked in 2006. But Frondorf says he also knew Thomas Kuhn and Thomas Feldhaus from Elder, where Kuhn was principal in the 1980s. I, like a lot of SNAP members, wear this to not only remind everybody else, but to remind uh, ourselves that, that I might be a 49-year-old guy talking here today. But I'm talking on behalf of the 17-year-old kid in this picture, and it, and it takes us back to that time and it helps us remember um, how important it is to protect the kids of the future. Kuhn was the only one of the three who was convicted of a crime and served any jail time 30 days in 2005 for violating probation. In a statement, Cincinnati Archbishop Daniel Schnur said he deeply regrets that any representative of the local church ever harmed a child under our care. The archdiocese actually tried to get a quicker decision from the Vatican. Two consecutive archbishops of Cincinnati, Archbishop Blarchik and Archbishop Schnur, on their visits to the Vatican, uh, repeatedly tried to move the process a little bit faster, but again, due process was involved and it took as long as it did. The alleged abuse took place around 30 years ago. The three priests have been suspended for about a decade. It may be that, that some people have uh, forgotten or almost forgotten these cases uh, because they were a long time ago, but I'm sure the victims have not forgotten and we haven't forgotten. The Vatican's actions on this day are far too little and far too late. Shame on Archbishop Schnur for suggesting that this problem is a thing of the past. It is only for him. In his statement, Archbishop Schnur said there are currently no more priests in the archdiocese on administrative leave, but he also said he hopes the Vatican decision will bring some measure of closure and healing to anyone harmed by these priests. Back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. According to the archdiocese, the decision to remove the priests was actually made by three judges in another diocese and affirmed by what is called the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith at the Vatican.